All who take refuge in you will be glad, O Lord. They will sing out their joy for ever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may rejoice in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this online Eucharist, celebrated especially <clears throat> for those like us who are still self-isolating because of the ongoing health issues. And today's Eucharist is based around the truth of God's willingness to feed his people. Today we celebrate the great love of God, who gives us life and sustains that life with both physical and spiritual nourishment. God invites us to come to him for earthly and spiritual food and drink. So first we come to God and uh, we come to God as the one from whom all hearts are open and from whom no secrets are hidden to ask for his forgiveness and his peace. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In today's collect, let us pray that God will keep us safe in body and soul. Almighty and everlasting God, we request you to direct, sanctify and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of your laws and in the works of your commandments, that through your most mighty protection both here and ever we may be preserved in body and soul, through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 1 to 5. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labour for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus withdrew from there, in a boat, to a deserted place all by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them, and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, this is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were filled, and they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. This is the Gospel of the Lord. May the words of my lips and the meditations of all our hearts be now and always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. So, some words from our Gospel this morning. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, take the five loaves and the two fish. He looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. At the beginning of our service, we heard a reading, a reading from uh, the prophet Isaiah, an invitation to a feast of abundant life. 
Did you hear the wonderful phrases? Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. Come buy wine and milk without money, without price. Well, if, as we all hope, the number of coronavirus victims continues to diminish, like firefighters watching a forest fire that is running out of fuel, we find ourselves keeping watch for outbreaks here and there, making sure we ourselves are not spreading the plague and hoping and praying that we can keep a lid on the problem until the vaccine comes along sometime, hopefully before Christmas, and we can begin life anew, safe and refreshed. We find ourselves in a situation very like the state those the prophet Isaiah was writing for. And we find ourselves enduring feelings like those of the 5,000 and their families who followed Jesus out into the countryside. What God is talking about in Isaiah is the refreshing of the faith and energy of a nation that is feeling old and weary. What God is talking about is nothing less than a dead nation coming back to life and finding again the will to enjoy life to the full. And here also in the feeding of the 5,000 is Jesus doing something very similar to people who felt cut off from God's love. The story of the feeding of the crowd tells how, in at least one version of it, a boy's few loaves and fishes are offered to Christ. It is one of the few stories that uh, appears in all four of the Gospels. So it must have meant a great deal to that first generation of Christians. In it, Jesus takes the loaves and fishes gives thanks over them and gets the disciples to share them out and there are enough to satisfy everyone there are clear parallels here with holy communion the holy communion to which jesus invites all of us at the communion we set apart bread and wine as jesus asked us to do we consecrate them by thanking god over them they become the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood and the spiritual food of vast numbers who draw near with faith to receive them. Through Holy Communion and by many other means as well, Jesus wants to consecrate his disciples, including us, to be effectively his body, the sign of his presence the means of his action in the world. Whenever we give something of ourselves or our money, including when we bring the bread and wine at communion, we bring symbols of our, our life and our work to signify our intention to put ourselves at Christ's disposal. Whenever Christ meets us, in the words of scripture or in communion, he renews us inwardly and empowers us to live and act as his disciples at home, at work, in our leisure, in our friendships. And for those of us still in isolation, he does the same too. Let me remind you that Christ is there for us too. When later in the service I bring the bread and the wine to the table, can I encourage you to bring to mind the things you do for God? including the isolation you are enduring to defeat this virus and all the other little things you are doing to keep yourself and others safe. Let these be your bread and wine. Offer them as I offer the Eucharist and then receive. I know some of you have been bringing bread and wine in front of your screen and receiving them at communion time, and I want to reassure you that God is not offended when you do that. 
The fullness of communion will come in due time when we can all come together and receive the body and blood of Christ once again. But communion is not just us reaching out to an unreachable God. Much more, it is God reaching out to us. As Isaiah reached out to the people and as Jesus did to the 5,000 and their families. The Lord's heart goes out to men and women everywhere. He wants to use us as his agents to speak through our words, to act through our deeds. He wants to love through our loving, to minister to people through our acts of service, to right wrongs through our courage and initiative. So we approach Jesus in worship, in word and sacrament, asking him to take us and use us as he sees best. We draw near, relying not on our goodness, wisdom or ability, but on his sufficiency. Of ourselves, we are utterly inadequate. But relying on him, we are equal to anything. Amen. Now please join with me as I say our creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now, our prayers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for your love. For all of us, whatever our circumstances, and however strong our faith is in you. Your will is always to be generous to us, and you promise you will be there whenever we need you. The gift of your word is promised to be the best food of all, and we know it comes with no price. As you helped your people through the wilderness, as they fled adversity with the heavenly gift of daily food, and as Jesus fed the throng of people listening to his words, in this period of pandemic, when we too can feel like we are in the wilderness, physically separated from the people we love, let your word continue to feed us and fill us with the good food that will always satisfy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We now give thanks for this beginning of the return to more normal life, with many being able to plan family holidays, with a chance to relax from the stresses of lockdown life. We thank you for the opening up of our wonderful church here at St Mary's, but we do pray that you will give all of us discernment as we go out, that we continue to protect the vulnerable in our community from further illness. 
We pray for those who are on the front line in the health and social services, and for those at home still not able to return to normal life, and those who feel anxious about mixing with others more openly. Reassure them that you are still there with them, and no one need fear alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In this period of uncertainty, common purpose between all your people is so important for preserving peace and promoting joint purpose. We pray for our world around us. And we pray for all governments to work better collectively on the challenges they face, asking that they may work internationally in common purpose to tackle the coronavirus and the associated problems and help to rebuild our economies so they can again support all communities across our country and around the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to thank you for the team here at St Mary's, the clergy and the lay people who continue to contribute to our worship and ministry, particularly the amazing efforts during the lockdown, delivering services on the internet like this one that enables those alone to join in the fellowship. We give thanks to all of those around the UK and overseas who are listening in today, and we ask that you will touch their hearts at their point of need. We pray that your kingdom will grow both in Horsham and more widely throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give great thanks for our young people here at St Mary's and the Horsham Parish as we go into the summer holidays. We pray for those who minister to our young people at the Lighthouse, Cafe Connect and youth cell groups that have also had the challenges through the lockdown. We give you special thanks for raising up Ruby to join us on our youth work placement with us. And we also pray for her as she prepares for study in Oxford this autumn. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We also hold in your presence all who are being cared for in this parish, thanking you for the care and dedication of those who are looking after them. May they know of your presence with them and let them know that you are their strength, their healing and their salvation. We have the comfort of knowing that you will gather up all who believe and trust in you. And we remember those who have recently died and pray for those who are grieving or remembering the anniversary of someone whose passing falls around this time. In the knowledge of your promises, we both celebrate their lives on earth and praise their release to a future in glory with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We know that we are all a part of your plan made in your image and given the stewardship of the earth itself, its resources and the living things upon it. Please help us that as we carefully emerge from this crisis, you will give all of your people a new determination to be better stewards of your creation and do everything in our power to further your kingdom on the earth, certain in the eternal lives to come. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of our Saviour, your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now the peace. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. If you are with someone now, then let us offer one another a sign of peace.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Lord Jesus Christ, according to your command, we bring these gifts of bread and wine. Grant that your precious body and blood may keep our souls and bodies in your eternal life. For you are alive and reign now and forever. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven we may find a voice to sing your praise. the work of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people as your own. When they turned away and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. From them you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, and taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice, made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ, and build us into a living temple to your glory. Remember, Lord, your church in every land. Reveal her unity, guard her faith, and preserve her in peace. Bring us at the last, with Mary and all the saints, to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, 
with whom and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. The blood of
What was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have touched with our hands concerning the word of life, we declare to you, so that your joy may be complete. Let us pray. Lord, may we never fail to praise you for the fullness of life and salvation you give us in your holy word. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding feeding us with with the body body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. But before we finish, please... Make sure that you look at the church website and uh, keep up to date with all that's happening in our church community. And please pay particular attention to our Rector Lisa's notes about the what the coronavirus is doing to our church's finances. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May God, who in Christ gives us a spring of water, welling up to eternal life, perfect in you the image of his glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God.